Welcome to the Duke University's NABCAST for day three of the National Association of Broadcasters Convention in Las Vegas. Today's NABCAST will focus on some of the cool new audio products at the show. The CAD Audio Acoustic Shield 32 is a stand-mounted acoustic enclosure that can help eliminate background noise and echo, providing a dry recording environment just about anywhere. It can mount on any standard microphone stand and supports many different styles of microphone. The unit sells for less than $140. The Presonus Studio Live AR8 8-channel mixer features studio quality mic preamps as well as built-in digital effects. You can record directly onto an SD card or on your computer through its USB interface. At just under $400, it packs a lot of value into a little package and is ideal for podcasters. Over at Sennheiser, they have a new product under development without an official name or price. The working name is Memory Mic, since it will have the ability to simultaneously record on an internal SD card and via Bluetooth on your mobile device. The two streams can be combined if the speaker moves out of range, allowing for greater freedom to roam. The Ambio VR mic I reported on last year has a new partner in spatial recording. The Ambio Smart Headset is a 3D binaural microphone and headphone that connects directly to your lightning connector on your iOS device. The location of the microphones turns your head into a living version of a binaural head microphone, capturing spatial audio oriented in the direction you are facing. I was familiar with Saramonic since we use their on-camera mic preamps, but wasn't aware that they have such a full line of affordable audio products, such as their USB wired lav mic starting around $30, and their stereo mic kits for the GoPro that are right around $35. The recently released Zoom F1 field recorder supports multiple mic configurations including a lav mic, stereo mic, and shotgun mic. It starts at just under $200. The Zoom F8 we saw in our VR segment is getting some important updates and becoming the F8N. Nothing is confirmed but we're expecting an enhanced GUI, selectable mic and line inputs, a new battery slot, look ahead limiters, and improved headphone amplifier. It's expected in July for around $1200. Dynamount was showing their dual axis and rotation microphone positioning system. While designed for recording studios, I thought the ability to precisely move microphones to set positions repeatedly might be helpful in research as well. Sure was demonstrating for the first time at this show the 24-inch MicroFlex Advanced Ceiling Array. The electronically steerable network array microphone can be used for both in-room voice lift and video conferencing due to its built-in echo cancellation. Up to eight beams can be directed from a web interface to capture participant audio from overhead. The unit can be ordered in multiple colors or painted and sells for around $4,500. CloverMic was showing some parabolic shells that use standard lav microphones. The largest shell can get focused sound from up to 600 feet away depending on the ambient noise levels. They start at just under $300. Speaking of podcasts, Tascam is still showing their Tascam Mini Studio, designed with the podcaster in mind. It functions just like any other USB interface, so it can be used on Mac or Windows with any audio recording software. Although some of the features were a bit too schmaltzy for my taste, like the fake helicopter sound effect, it does provide a great user experience for creating one or two person audio podcasts in an easy to use, self-contained package for under $200. Dante AVIO from Audionate is today's candidate for my best in show. Dante is a standard that allows you to send audio over a data network. This is great for newer equipment, but there is a ton of analog audio equipment that can't take advantage of the flexibility of using a data network versus traditional audio cable. Their line of adapters bridges that gap at a relatively low cost giving AV integrators and classroom designers the ability to more cost-effectively build their projects and manage the devices using Dante network tools. The adapters start at around $129. Well, the time is flying by, but be sure to tune in tomorrow for the fourth and final update from the 2018 NAB show in Las Vegas. Thanks.